Well, it's about time I get this one done. Time to finally talk about the Justice League m m movie that came out er, late, late last year. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Y'all asked for me to do it, so I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> um. Okay. Justice League is written by um Chris Ter Chris Ter Terrio and Jazz Wing and directed by Zack Snyder, but also directed by Jazz Wing. Um. Yeah, it gets weird. Um, uh, uh, some y'all know about them. So y'all know about the tragedy that is um, uh, about the death of uh, that that Andrew Tanner and then Jasmine and step step in. That was just awful, but that's not gonna. Like, clown my judgment on this movie. Because mm -hmm. honestly, even without the tra tragedy, which that's just the worst thing ever, this, this movie is an absolute disaster. I mean, it is the worst film I, I saw last year. I'm not blaming Jasmine. I'm not blame, blaming Zack Snyder. I'm not blaming the writers. I'm not blaming the tragedy. I blame Warner Brothers for mandating a two hour runtime for the film. Which, in retrospect, the film needed to be like a half hour longer. Give the new characters of Steppenwolf, Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman more time to more time to be flashed out. Um. Okay, so um, I'll 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 start with what I thought. So I'll start by reviewing the new characters. Okay. Um. Jason Momoa as Aquaman was was kind of really cool actually. Um, um, I love I loved Ray Ray Fisher as um Cyborg. Um, he was amazing. Like Ray Fisher as Cyborg reminded me of. Kari Payton's cyborg from the Teen from the Teen Titans cartoon. Not Teen Titans Go, but the old one. <laughs> um Ezra Menard's Flash is the really one that surprised me. He did a fantastic job. Even though I still think the suit his his armored flash suit thing was I still th I still think it's crap. But Ezra Miller is Barry Allen, and then him as the Flash himself, he was amazing! Um, the humor was there. Oh, 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 a lot of people know that I'm a huge Grant Gustin Flash fan, and when I heard they were doing Barry Allen in the DCEU and not doing, <coughs> not using Grant Gustin's, Bam, I was like, oh no, 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 no. But, but then I saw Ezra Miller's Flash on the screen, because I saw it just as the opening day with my dad, and he, he really surprised me. I mean, I'm, I, I genuinely love th this version of Flash. I, I actually love both versions. Now I'm going to get into the negatives, um, and talk about Mustache Gate. M mustache Gate, <laughs> uh, 
when I saw when I saw Superman on on screen um, in the Justice League film, I didn't notice it, but on re retrospect, yeah, I yeah I noticed it, and um, in the thing about in the thing about the the thing about the um, mustache. He could have kept it for the reshoots, cause um, if y'all don't know, in the death and rebirth of Superman in the comments, y'all have to Google. I don't have a picture on me right now. Superman has a facial hair, a mustache, a beard. He could have kept the mustache. Oh for God's sake! And then let's talk about um, Steppenwolf. Oh my god. The visuals on Steppenwolf or just Steppenwolf in general. I Karen Hines is one of my favorite actors. I love his I, I love the way he just says things because his voice is so unique. But Karen Hines is Steppenwolf was like a whiny toddler baby new oh god, it was terrible. <laughs> the, the, and you're probably wondering, well, Colin, you're really being hyper. Nay, nay, I'm gonna be on, on this movie, and I, I know, I know. Uh, usually I'm not negative about films this much, except for. Green Lantern. <sighs> yeah. Green Lantern movie. I already reviewed that. I'm not gonna go back into it. It's like the Dragon Ball Z of my channel. Why mention home of my channel? <sighs> anyway. Um. <laughs> Justice League. Like I said before, it, it's not just Fiend's fault. It's not. That's Snyder's fault. It is the studio's fault. Warner Brothers' fault for mandate. Cause I, cause I'm pretty sure. Um. Cause I, cause I've, cause I've read like all of Jocelyn's changes, and they are good changes. Like they make Superman like the more classic Boy Scout Superman. Which I actually kind kind of love that actually, and um, there's this post credits scene um, um, where uh, Flash and Superman r r race each other uh, like to the west coast, and that was pretty cool. That was like straight from the comic. See, the problem with Justice League is the two directors don't mesh. Zed Snyder and Jasmine are two different directors. And they didn't mesh at all. Honestly, I wish Warner Brothers had pushed the release date for Justice League back for five months and that had rushed this out because it feels rushed. It doesn't feel finished. There's stuff missing in this. All the characters are good. The action scenes are good. J.K. Simmons is coming to and going. It's perfect. But, but on a scene, just the sling at the end is just a, it's just coupled together. Ben, ben I went and, and Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. Henry Cavill is Superman. Um. They were all good as usual. 
But like I said, Justice League feels cobbled together by by a studio who just wanted to pr pr profit off a superhero team up movie. If I was going to gr grade Justice League, I'd give it two thumbs down. Or for a letter grade, I give it a C. Plus. Okay, guys, that was a bit of a rough review. I know, um, it's been a while, while since. I saw Justice League. <laughs> Glad to finally get that one out of the way. If you liked this review, um, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And in, and until then, then guys, until the next video, see you very soon.